Hey, hey, this is Faust, and this is Faust Talks. Blah. Okay, okay. So, there's going to be another Warhammer, Warhammer battle report going up. So, yesterday, or not yesterday, but last Saturday, met up with a few homies, went to the game store, played some Warhammer. So, this day, or that day, I played... I played my Deathwing, full Deathwing army. Full Deathwing army, everything that Deathwing does. So I had nothing but Terminators, two Dreadnoughts, and that was it. Whole bunch of Termies. And just two freaking Dreadnoughts. The Dreadnoughts were, they were Redemptor Dreadnoughts. I had two, so I had a, I had Belial. For the Deathwing. I had a Librarian in Terminator armor. I had two. I had one full man, ten man team of Terminators. Where they all had power or uh, chain fists. So all of them had chain fists. Storm bolters. And two of them had cyclone missile launchers. And the uh, sergeant had a storm bolter and a power sword. Just because for some reason, the sergeant always has to carry a power sword. Which I find kind of weird. Like, why Why can't they have something else? Why can't the sergeant have, like, a thunder hammer? Actually, wait. The sergeant can have a thunder hammer. But why can't the ser sergeant have a power fist? So you can have thunder hammer. You can have lightning claws. You can have Power Sword and Storm Bolter. And it's like, dude, I would like to have like Power Fist and Storm Bolter on the Sergeant also. Okay, but anyways, let's carry on with that. So I had one 10 man squad of them. Uh, pretty much all my Terminators, like the same layout, except for the 10 man had two Cyclone uh, missile launchers. I had, had three squads of five Terminator or Terminator. Yeah, three squads and minimum Terminators. Then I had the Apothecary. I had the Champion. And then the two Redemptor Dreadnoughts with Inner Circle. So they could be part of the army. So with those guys, I was... Oh, I'm playing. So first, the guy who was playing Admech... Uh, we, we set up a game, we were waiting for the Dark Eldar player, and I decided, it's like, hey, let's have the Dark Eldar player pretty much come in and flank us. Is that we're in the middle of a battle, they pretty much see what's happening, so they just jump on, and they're just trying to, uh, they're just like, they, they see it, so they're third partying us. So while, while we're in the middle of fighting, they jump in, they attack both of us. So, that's kind of what happened. But let, let's go with uh, with how it is. So first turn, I start out. I start. Oof. First turn, I, I start. I, I get the okay. Then I get the... So I set up first. We're going to uh, like back and forth setting up. So we just went back and forth. I dropped my first my 10-man squad of Terminators with a Librarian. And with a... Uh, yeah, with the Librarian... And with a the apothecary with the selfless healer on him, so he can just automatically pick up a guy for free instead of using a command point. So I got that going. Then I have uh, then I set up my two dreadnoughts. And then after that it was I'm like okay I don't need to set anything else up because I had three Terminator squads still up in the air. The same with the champion and Belial. So I just waited. And then uh, he set up the rest of his army. So I get the first go. So I get to go first. First thing I do with that is I go grab I, I my Terminators right there. And then the center objective, we have like the center objective and then like a big piece in the center. So I was close enough that where I could actually run my Terminators there. So I ran my Terminators 
and I got a six on the on the on the advance roll. So I was actually able to advance my terminators right onto the center of the field, like where we started out. And then we were able to actually and I actually was controlling the center objective and the one objective in my control zone. And so we're playing with the objectives as sticky and the one that's in your control zone is already captured by you. You already have that one. So the second turn. Okay, and then he goes, he he like brings a flyer and tries to drop a bomb, like some mortal wounds on top of my guys. Yeah, they take a few mortal wounds. And then uh and then he goes up there, shoots, shoots my terminators, and he's able to take one. Takes out one terminator and put put some wounds on one another terminator and then put some wounds on on my librarian. <clears throat> Alright. My next turn is that I was able to heal, heal my librarian, heal my terminators, and then bring one terminator back. And then like since I advanced with the terminators, like uh, well, yeah, since I advanced with the terminators, I wasn't able to shoot that first turn. But I did have my dreadnoughts, I just walked them up and had them shoot. And then next turn I pretty much kept my dreadnoughts still and then my terminators on top steals just so I'm, I'm easily able to hit on twos. Just because my terminators really didn't move and I just moved my apothecary where he would heal and then raise up uh, the, the, that one fallen terminator. So I got that all going. So pretty much everything I have is shooting on the two right now. I had two of the dread, the Redemptor Dreadnoughts where they had where they had the Microplasma Cannon or the Macroplasma Cannon uh, the Missile Launcher like the the light uh, the lights like a uh, stubber gun or whatever it's called so I just had all that stuff on there he was just shooting like crazy so it was my turn and then I just kept my dreadnoughts still because they, they were watching some stuff yeah as a uh, he was able to put uh, put a few wounds on my first dreadnought, but my dreadnought was still hit. like he knocked him down to the second bracket. But because that dreadnought didn't move, one of my dreadnoughts didn't move. He was able to uh, shoot on three still instead of on twos, uh, like he would normally be doing with uh, not moving as Dark Angels. My other dreadnought didn't move either, and he was actually in some good range of like a whole bunch of different things there. So, I, I had a phase where I was able to shoot, do some damage back to, to the Admech player. And then that was when, when uh, our Dark Eldar, Dark Eldar guy came in. Like, I've talked about him before, the Dark Eldar player where we played. Yeah, he was, he came into the store. So, uh, we decided to take a break and, like, after my turn, he would just jump in, uh, like, hit both of us and then Admech would go. And like his his thing was that he was able to ambush us all, like a foot within. He's able to be close to different models, but the thing was that because of how he came in, is that he was not a like his movement was the ambush movement where he came in, and he was unable to charge. All he could do was just shoot. So that that was his negative for coming in, like when our team was a little bit like after we beat up each other a little bit. But anyways, is continuing with my turn. So I shot up with my dreadnoughts and then, uh, oh yeah, and I dropped some of my terminators, like two squads of terminators. So one, like one that, that was, uh, that was near an, an objective and then another one that was, uh, fighting like some other, some of, uh, his, his little robot guys that have like the taser swords. So he he brought those guys out those guys were in a vehicle i popped the vehicle his little uh, taser guys popped out and then uh after my dreadnought destroyed the vehicle and shot everything it had into it is then my terminators had a chance where they just unloaded everything that they had at at those guys he was i damn near took them all out except for like two and then i shot my rocket launcher at it and it took out one and then it's like you know what they're they're going to die to uh that last guy's going to run away uh, because of fear. 
and then my other and my other terminators that's uh that that's on the other side they uh, he had some scatari go up i shot up the scatari and then and then i was actually able to charge them so i charged that scatari and then uh, I, I took them all out with that the 10 man group up top was just shooting uh as much as it could into different things and shot the rockets into uh like some of his like dragoon guys the guys with the big old like robot chicken guys with like the heavy las cannons and stuff so took out two of them but he had four of them there okay so i got that going and then it, and then the dark eldar player came in he mostly he struck like a good 50 50 between both of us and the ad mac player was able to go and then he brought up his uh he brought up his dudes or like yeah he brought up a few dudes he kept a lot of things in the back he had like two of the doom crawlers and two more of the like dragoon guys with, with, with the heavy cannons so he tried he he really focused fire all this heavy shit on my terminators he took out two terminators of my 10 man squad and then uh and then he sent um yeah of uh, my two-man squad then he and then he took out two more terminators from one of my five-man squad and then uh, after like all this shooting and everything is he sent uh he sent uh cow or like his warlord cow uh to take out my guy or to take out that three-man group of terminators so he attacked the terminators he only put two wounds on them and it's like all right two wounds out of a three wound unit and i have a few and i have a an apothecary near so they were able to do a lot of like feel no pains and uh yeah so that was quite nice because he was able to have feel no pains and then able to to resurrect the next turn so i had uh i had cow right there in front of me attacking my terminators so we attacked terminators put two wounds on there and then after that was like i'm like all right now it's time for me to attack back so i had two of my terminators attack cow just using their their chain fists into cow so they attacked him and just because they were charged and they already have just a few attacks base yeah they killed cow before my sergeant was even able to like strike back because i'm like dude the sergeant has even more attacks especially with shock trooper being being attacked while having shock trooper yeah yo you can definitely put in like a a lot of work into that too so with that is yeah just like sh shot fought him back able to take him out and because I had like the martial command or something like that uh, for my secondary I forgot the actual name of it but it's like hey if you can take out an enemy like an enemy warlord you get you get like uh, 12 points and you get two more points or like 10 points you get two more points if you uh, you take out the warlord uh, with melee and then you or something like that it is like it, it would end up as 15 points and then like some more points if you take out the warlord while you're in in their command zone and it's like okay so i so i ended up getting like 13 points for killing his warlord with melee and using uh and just using melee attacks which i liked it's like okay and then my other my other one was grind them down. It's pretty much is like, hey, if like on a person's turn, if you or like on any turn, if you kill more enemies than they killed of yours, is you're able to you you get three points. And then with Admech, the guy went heavy melee Admech and is like, dude, you're attacking Terminators. Is like, so I end up killing more units of his. <sighs> his on, on on the turn like on his turn and and in the round it's just like boop 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 and i just had gaining points no no what's that called the the dark elder player has some melee he was using some chronoses and he had a few of the of like the trueborn like the blade guard or whatever they're called 
the Dark Elders with, with the heavy blades that protect the Archon or something like that. So we had a few of those guys. Those guys were doing some decent damage. Smacking. But they're attacking Terminators. They're attacking a whole a ten man group of Terminators that have armor contempt. And on top of it too, they were in uh, in the center objective that was light and heavy cover. So they were attacking me. I, I was in light and heavy cover, so I got a plus one against melee attacks, plus one against range attacks and armor contempt. So most of their attacks were like, oh, it's AP2, it's AP2. Oh, this one's AP3. And it's like, okay, so your attacks have no AP against me, like do nothing. And oh, your AP3, yeah, I need a three up save for my Terminator. Boom, boom. And then I also had the Ancient down. And the Ancient was down, and he reduced damage by one. Uh, so because the Ancient had one damage, or like reduced damage by one, it's like, oh, my attacks do two damage to your guys. It's like, no, it deals one to my Terminators. That's all they really do. So yeah, that's what they did. And it's just like, he was attacking, just thinking like, hey, I'm going to do a whole bunch of damage, but literally everything he had was reduced to almost nothing, which was kind of nice. It's like Deathwing Terminators for the win. <clears throat> and all my Terminators, they, they were out in front. They were dealing the heavy damage. And, like, if you got into melee range, they tore you up with the chain fist. Yeah, the chain fist was, I was hitting on threes, threes with them instead of fours. Because it's like, dude, once I got that 10-man group up there, that 10-man group was Dylan. Was Dylan, what's that called? 10-man group. Uh, didn't move, so they got the plus one because of the, the Dark Angels tactics. And because of the plus one with the Dark Angel tactics, they also got the plus, uh, they also got the plus, or no, no, just the plus one. And they're freaking uh, Deathwing in their circle, so they don't suffer attrition, and then they don't suffer morale. And it's like, okay, dude, they pass everything. Like, they, they pass all morale tests, and they pass all attrition tests. So there it goes. But alrighty then guys, I'm going to end the video here because I, I got some stuff to do at home and fix things up. Thanks for watching. Oh wait, let me finish off. Okay. Is, so the Dark Elder player uh, went, attacked, uh, I killed a few of his things too, but at the very end it was getting a little bit too late so we had to end it at turn 3. So I'm going to end the video now. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and remember, always love the Kellown. You all take care now.